the new chamber has stayed at vacuum for a little while and now I'm going to bring it up to air. First thing I do is reopen the line to the backing pump, otherwise the line could potentially stay at vacuum. And the longer it stays at vacuum, the more chance there is of oil from the pump actually being drawn back up into the system. And we don't want that because it would contaminate the whole unit. So I'm going to open that valve there and then gently release. And voila. If you're curious, there will be a small particle filter going on the bottom here to keep the whole thing tidy, free of contaminants. The construction thing is a reasonably large water fire extinguisher, a 9 litre here. Now, I previously used a powder based extinguisher, which is over here what's left of it, as you might be able to see inside, has rather a lot of rust. And that's because I washed it out to get rid of the particles, and of course that rust would be inside, even with my attempts to dry it. The water, of course, contained the plastic lining, which means it shouldn't corrode and be a lot easier to clean. If anyone else wants to try making one of these, I would advise going for a water-based fire extinguisher, but please make sure it's completely discharged before you start cutting into it. And the best way to do that, of course, is to, if it won't discharge anymore, unscrew the mechanism on the top, and anything left in there, there'll be nothing left in there. Now this is a seven and a half inch diameter, so I use an eight inch pie tin here. I mark the centre with a homemade centre finding gauge, made out of a couple of bits of dowel and a couple of bits of wood. If I found a centre close enough, I cut a reasonable circle out with some tin snips, bent them down, held it in place with this, uh, I've never found out what these are called but I'm using them on the pipes here. Pipe holders, but it's very, very large. It's a toothed metal belt with a screw for tightening it up. I then put some electrical tape around the inside to make a barrier. And on the inside here, and poured in silicon that I degassed on the old unit. The silicon went in the top, set, and thanks to gravity, formed a flat layer to try to seal. I then cut out of 10 millimeter polycarbonate sheeting, because polycarbonate is more impact, in more shatter resistant. A little piece here. Drill the hole for a small, they call them half nipples, for the <laughs> connection to the gauge. Use the offcuts from the square sheet to make a quick handle. Drilled through and sealed using uh, epoxy resin, two wires to control the LEDs, again glue the LEDs on with epoxy resin, use some impact adhesive to glue the handles together, and it's all come together, I'm very very happy about it. <laughs>